Hey guys, tis I, Iris Fane, back again with another video. We are doing another Aldi's video. I know, I seem to really like Aldi's, but I had the time to stop at two Aldi's today uh, because it was on my way home. I know, weird, but like it is what it is. And I wanted to show you guys what I got. We're gonna start with the cold stuff because I need to put it away. So yeah, there's some new products. There's also some old products that are tried and true. Obviously, I got more of the vegan cheese I got last time. I got, I didn't get the mozzarella shreds because I still have some, but I got more of the cheddar shreds because I tried the other ones and they were delicious. They melted really well, much like the mozzarella ones. These are really good for nachos or whatever. <laughs> Next, well, I got these, but these aren't really a new all these products. I got some sweet butter lettuce mix because I like to have salads during the summer when I don't have a lot of time for anything else and it just sounds good because I don't want to cook. We got tofu. So in case you don't know, Aldi's does have their own brand of tofu, the Earth Grown Vegan. They, have, they usually have firm or extra firm. They only had firm today, so I picked it up. It's still good. I prefer extra firm, but I can just press this myself and get it to be firmer, which honestly I would have done it anyway, even if it was extra firm. We got some of the Earth Grown Vegan uh, Meat-Free Chickenless Tenders. I have gotten these before. I've gotten? I got these before. <laughs> and uh, my kids really like them. So I got them for them in mind. But obviously, like, these are great if, like, uh, you want to put it in a salad. You cook them, up, cook them up, chop them up, put them in a salad. That's nice, too. These aren't my favorite chicken tenders, but they're pretty affordable. Since I'm talking about price, I think we need to talk prices since I've already showed you so much. So uh, as per usual, the cheese is like around $4. That's no, that's nothing new. Um, the chicken tenders uh, are only $2.95, so it's under $3, which is really cheap for a vegan meat alternative. Uh, that's like Morningstar territory of affordable. So. That's pretty good. Um, oh, $1.49 for the tofu, sorry. $1.49 for that tofu and the lettuce, in case you're curious, was $2.29 a piece. So, if you're curious. Now, we're getting into the new uh, refrigerated products I found. Let's see. We got a new ice cream that I need to put in the freezer because it's melting. Earth Grown Vegan Mint Chocolate Chip. Now, I did always enjoy a good mint chocolate chip, um, but we'll see how this one is. This one was $2.99. They also had two other new flavors I saw there. One was a peanut butter chocolate, but it was like a chocolate ice cream, like a fully chocolate ice cream with like peanut butter swirls, I think which is not my favorite kind of peanut butter chocolate ice cream, but maybe I'll try that one next time. And they also had a raspberry cheesecake, which I'm not a cheesecake fan. I know, don't come for me, but I just don't like cheesecake. But I got this one to try because I don't want to get too many ice creams. I have a problem with that. Um, <laughs> so here's another new item I'm excited about. The Earth Grown Vegan Vegetable Pot Stickers. And it comes with a dipping sauce. Now that's pretty cool. Like. I've seen vegan pot stickers at like Walmart and other places like that, but they don't come with a sauce. And let's talk price here. The veggie pot sticker was $4.99. So that's five bucks for this. And there's how many in here? One serving is three pot stickers. Um, and there's about three and a half servings per container. So I'd say it's close to like 12 with dipping sauce that's pretty pricey but I mean this would be good with like for a side like if I'm making noodles for dinner or something or a stir fry these would be really good to have on the side or maybe if you're having like like a Chinese food night sometimes we do that that would be good for that as well here's the other new product I'm excited about earth grown vegan plant based peanut butter non-dairy frozen dessert bar I'm so excited for this. But also, they had other flavors too, okay? They had two other flavors actually. They had a chocolate one with caramel flavored ice cream on the inside. 
uh, or caramel, however you want to say it. And then they had a raspberry, I think it was raspberry, or maybe it was just a berry. It looked like a raspberry because it was like a purpley kind of colored ice cream inside with chocolate on the outside, but I was feeling peanut butter and chocolate, so that's the one I went with. So that is all of our frozen stuff. Let me put this away, and we're going to go over the non-frozen stuff. Also, I did forget to mention the price of the ice cream bars, because I'm bad. Uh, nope, that's another one. Like I said, I went to two Aldi's, so bear with me. They were $3.69, and hold on, I'm not sure how many comes in there, let me check. Alright, so it comes with three in a box. It's much like the non-dairy Magnums or the uh, So Delicious ice cream bars. So three in a box for less than, for, for less than four bucks isn't bad. Ideally, I would like them to be at most a dollar a piece, but it's vegan, and I know there's the vegan tax until, you know, we live in a perfect world where plant-based stuff is cheaper. <laughs> so it is time to show you the non-vegan things I got. Now, this is not a food item, but I thought this was really neat. I got this little silicone like um, ice cube tray and I want I know it looks really small it's because I wanted it because it was small because I don't have a lot of space in the freezer because I'm sharing it right now <laughs> so I want to have ice cubes and I don't like buying ice I prefer to make my own and this is like the perfect size for me and it's silicone and I've never had a silicone ice cube tray before and it was only $2.89 so I just thought I'd share that with you they do have like obviously non-food items at Aldi's. I just usually don't buy them. Alright, so snacks. We got some snacks. That's what I picked out from the non-refrigerated items. Um, first of all, these. The cauliflower tortilla chips. These are nacho flavored, so they kind of remind me of a Dorito. I say kind of, because if you get this and think it's going to be a nacho cheese flavored Dorito, it's not. It's not, but it does have like that kind of fake cheese, crunchy Dorito chip kind of experience. Not really, but kind of. So like, um, it's just nice. I like it. When I feel it, like I'm feeling like I want something a little salty and a little cheesy, this is a really nice thing to go for. I usually don't get these, but I was thinking, why not? You know, the kids will like them too. And I've got, I've got this before too. They also have like a cheese flavored one of these. It's kind of like a cheese it but I got the sea salt ones because I think I want to have this with some beaten cheese on like a charcuterie board or something that I might do soon. It'll be fall soon. It's like July right now so it's like middle of July. It'll be fall soon. Yeah I'm gonna make a charcuterie board and put this on it but uh these are cauliflower crackers with sea salt. Obviously, all these things I'm showing you right now. Now, they do have products at all these that are vegan, that aren't labeled vegan. But I wanted to get the things that are particularly labeled vegan because they had a lot of other stuff. But I didn't want to just go buy a bunch of stuff. I wanted to find things that I was like, okay, yeah, I want that. And it's labeled vegan so I can advertise that. But yeah, it says on these. And this is grain-free, plant-based, vegan. So it's also gluten-free. This is also gluten-free, vegan, made with cauliflower. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Nice little treat. But I like the cheese ones better because they're like Cheez-Its. I mean, they're not like Cheez-Its. It's just like the Dorito thing. It's not a spot-on thing. If you get those thinking it's going to be exactly like a Cheez-It, no. It is not. But the cauliflower crackers were $2.99. And... Oh, the cauliflower chips were also $2.99. Now, this is my last product. Now, this one I haven't seen, and I got this because of that reason, but I already had some crackers, but I got more crackers because these are new, new to me. I've never seen them. The uh, Simply Nature Purple Carrot Crackers, labeled vegan right there, gluten-free, made with real carrots. That's so neat. I've never had anything like this. Now, the ingredients, in case you're curious, these are also $2.99, by the way. The ingredients, in case you're curious, um, the first ingredient is carrot, so that is the predominant thing. There's rice flour, cassava flour, cassava starch, potato starch, whole grain rice, potato flakes, but they also have like beet, like beet powder in there, onion, garlic, 
spinach, broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, uh, shiitake mushrooms, rosemary extract, parsley. It's really like, I don't want to say the words clean ingredients, but it really is. Like this is all stuff that I recognize and that's really cool. And it's the same thing with these and these. Like these are really wholesome snacks. So if you're trying to steer away from like the super processed stuff that you can't recognize the ingredients, these are a good alternative to that. But you know, I don't, I do not uh, demonize any foods. So I eat whatever I want as long as it's vegan. But um, yeah, so that does it for this Aldi's uh, haul question mark. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll do this again soon. I'm thinking next time I might do a Walmart one just to show you guys some of the stuff that's there that I get pretty often. Um, and some of the stuff that is an option there that maybe I don't get very often. We'll see. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!